There's good, and then there's great. But then there's Kenanisa Bekele. He is running so well that it's hard to believe, in fact, that he mightn't attempt a double. This man is just cruising up the straight. He's 50, 60, 70 meters ahead. A magnificent performance by a magnificent athlete who is sure to become a huge star of distance running. Here he comes round that bend on his own. Clearly the star of these world championships. A beautiful day and a really sensationally good runner here. There is no doubt about the winner here today in Edinburgh. Kenanisa Bekele wins a record-breaking sixth world cross-country title. The gold for Ethiopia. A superb performance from him. The champion, the double champion, is Bekele of Ethiopia. Throughout the entire history of cross-country running, there has been absolutely no parallel to the greatness of Kenanisa Bekele. From 2001 through 2008, this one Ethiopian accomplished something that nobody else in history has ever done. And that's when 11 individual world cross-country titles and he did this all in extraordinary fashion. These championship victories came in both the short courses and the long courses at the World Championships. And unlike any other runner before him, he was the first person to ever win these two disciplines in the same year. However, what really places this legend into the land of the untouchable is the fact that he achieved this double for five consecutive years, completely shattering every expectation for cross-country running. This complete dominance has never been equaled. However, when we look even closer at each and every one of his victories, the complete story of this man's achievements is truly difficult to believe. To better understand how Bekele reached the absolute pinnacle of cross-country running, we have to go back to March 28th of 1999. At just 16 years of age, he entered his very first international competition, and even though he was competing against runners that were a few years older than he was at the time, he still managed to place ninth at the World Junior Championships. This was quite the racing debut for such a young athlete, as he managed a time of 26 minutes and 27 seconds over a very muddy 8km course. This time averages out to 3 minutes and 18 seconds per kilometer, but again, the conditions were far from ideal in terms of running fast. This successful cross-country debut made Bekele an ideal candidate for future greatness, and upon returning to the grass just two years later, still at just 18 years of age, nothing would ever be the same. On March 24th of 2001, he made his very first appearance in the senior division, running the men's 4.1 kilometer race in 2001. This meant that he was no longer running in the junior division, he was competing against the very best runners of the entire world. However, this reality was absolutely no issue, as he made it obvious from the very beginning that he was a real contender. Through the muddy and slippery terrain, he kept in very close contact with the front runners. Despite conditions that were again far from ideal, he remained smooth and strong, powering away effortlessly from many other runners in the race. Down the home stretch, a not coach from Kenya would ultimately win this race. However, from the far left of your screen, a young 18-year-old Bekele, during his very first senior race, managed to bring home the silver medal with a time of 12 minutes and 42 seconds. As the race announcers called it, this was an absolutely brilliant race from this young Ethiopian. And although this was certainly a strong showing, his very next race would be absolutely crushing. The very next day on March 25th, Bekele once again towed the line for the men's junior race. Despite nearly winning the senior men's four kilometer race, he was still only 18 years old. And given this convenient fact, I'll let you take a guess as to how he ran this junior race. Immediately from the gun, he was out to prove that he would not be beaten. By 10 minutes, he had already whittled down the field to just a few runners, 
and then by 15 minutes, the race was all but over. For anyone that had seen this man race just one day previous, this dominance came as no surprise. However, running with profound confidence down the home stretch, this victory was so large that no other runner was even visible on the screen. With an incredible margin of victory of 33 seconds, this victory to this day is still the largest margin ever over second place at the World Cross Country Championships. This world title would prove to be a powerful springboard for his future races, and moving into 2002, well, he would be completely uncatchable. On March 23rd of 2002, Bekele once again returned to the World Cross Country Championships. Still at just 19 years of age, his eyes were set on the senior men's 4.2 kilometer race. And just like he had done in last year's junior championships, he sprinted to the lead immediately. This was a move that basically said, I'm here, come and get me if you can. And just after seven minutes of very fast running, he made a move that would prove to be the decisive moment of this race. For the remainder of this short race, he would only increase his lead on the rest of the field. And with a finishing time of 12 minutes and 11 seconds, he had now officially become a senior men's world champion, making him the youngest athlete to ever accomplish this feat. This was quite the compelling victory, but then just one day later, Bekele would strike again. On March 24th, the still 19-year-old Bekele moved up to the 12-kilometer race, and despite his victory that he accomplished the day previous, many were still skeptical as to whether or not Bekele could accomplish this double. To achieve both of these world titles, an athlete would need tremendous speed, but he would also need dominating endurance. And unlike any other runner before him, Bekele certainly possessed both of these traits, perhaps even more than anyone else in history. Just like he had done the day before, Bekele looked extremely strong from the very start. And just after the 30 minute mark, he was once again completely alone up front. To the astonishment of the crowd, the announcers, and the other athletes, he was achieving something that had never been done in the history of cross country. With a finishing time of 34 minutes and 52 seconds, he had officially become the first athlete ever to win the short course and the long course in the same year. However, this would only be the beginning as over the course of the next four years, his dominance would go completely unrivaled. In 2003, Bekele once again went unchallenged in both the short and the long course, winning his four kilometer race by three seconds and his 12.3 kilometer race by an impressive 13 seconds. The following year in 2004, he once again was invincible winning the 4K race by five seconds and his 12 kilometer race by a very solid 18 seconds. Moving forward once again in 2005, his powers in cross country went completely unmatched as he won both the short and the long courses again in dominant fashion. Fast forward to 2006 and Bekele met very fierce competition in both racing distances. On April 1st, he entered the men's short race which would prove to be one of his most stellar racing performances of his entire career. With just a few minutes remaining, many runners were still up front with Bekele. Over the previous few years, this stage of the race was almost always Bekele up front, but now with only moments remaining in this four kilometer race, he had no choice but to absolutely storm home. With approximately 400 meters remaining, Bekele completely dropped the hammer, gapping the entire field except for one runner from Kenya, and that was Isaac Songok. But even so, Bekele still had the ultimate say, as he once again won the men's short race, but this time, he was only victorious by one second. This final 400 was completed in approximately 57 seconds, and while this was truly a race to remember, he still had the long course to attend the very next day. On April 2nd of 2006, Bekele once again looked to achieve this fantastic cross-country double. After running a historically fast 400 meters the previous day, many were doubtful as to his abilities to endure this long and arduous 12-kilometer race. But then again, these people clearly didn't know about Bekele's greatness, 
because just after 20 minutes of running, he once again made a very strong move against the entire field. This move was certainly impressive, but there were still many athletes around him, including the likes of Salishi Sahin, Zersene Tedese, and also Martin Mathathi from Kenya. Just after the 30 minute mark, the field still included seven runners, which was definitely far from what Bekele was looking for. However, with just one kilometer remaining, Bekele absolutely took off, and just like the previous few seasons, there was simply no one that could catch him. With superior strength and unrivaled racing determination, he stormed home with a winning time of 35 minutes and 40 seconds, a time that placed him only three seconds ahead of his Ethiopian teammate, Salishi Sahin. For the previous four years, Bekele was absolutely unbreakable in cross-country running. Since his victory in 2001 in the World Junior Championships, he had maintained an undefeated streak in cross-country, the likes of which we had never seen in the past. But moving forward into 2007, one athlete would push Bekele to the very edge of his running abilities.